up and all reef down now. The boys are setting up the staysail. <coughs> We've been uh, heading offshore for the last day and a half just to have enough sea room to do this maneuver. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, be able to close on the coast because we're about 35 miles off. We've got about 15 miles that we can head that way. And we're going to go quick with this rig we're putting up now. The staysail and this reef main. Uh, I have a feeling this boat will go pretty fast. So we'll see. Look at that boy go. Nice and snug, boys. There you go. All right, tie it off. That's good. You boys secure all those lines and then get on back in the cockpit and then we'll head her off. Yeah, so uh, anyway, hopefully we'll uh, get her going here pretty quick in this slogging around Cape Mendocino, which is about 35 miles uh, east of us. So, uh, more later. good. You got, once you find us one more sail tie and get the last eye here tied up on the back of the boom. That's perfect. More later. That's one of those days. Nothing seems to work. Uh, generator won't run. Staysail blew out. Main's going good. Got a nice little reef in the main, everything seems to be holding there. We're powering into it, motoring into it. I'm gonna bunk Cape Mendocino still, trying to get around. Not, not easy here, our weather window closed. Right, Ethan? The weather window's gone. What? Our weather window's gone. I don't know, you might be able to find it. <laughs> Nice enthusiasm, positive thinking. Anyway, this is what we're doing now. What time is it? Four o'clock. It's four o'clock Tuesday afternoon. Yep. And uh, this is where we're at and what we're doing. Coming up on Cape Mendocino. Um, it's gonna be a probably all night deal getting around there. Just like this. Um, so we'll see. More later. No doubt. Good times, huh, boys? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's quite the sailboat, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If only she'd hold together a bit more. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we had the uh, outhaul winch break right off the mast. Uh, Boy, I'll tell you, all the hardware seems to be falling apart on this boat. But we got it tied in place and uh, it's reefed and working, so. Hi! My cameo! <laughs> How you doing? Uh, yeah, we're having a good time here on Rosalie Claire, as usual. Uh, how far do we got to go, gentlemen? Not right. long now. 200? <laughs> a little bit less? A little Two, bit more? 200 miles? Probably. Probably. Check two, it was 220 this morning. This is what I get. This is what I get. <laughs> anyway, more later. Uh, it's like we're in trouble now. Space just blew out. Uh, what a drag. Let me go get her down. What a drag. 
Well, he blew out the staysail. Uh, going around Cape Mendocino here, even though we're pretty far out. It's still pretty, pretty good weather. It's only blowing about 15 here. I was surprised it blew, but it's an old sail, and Russ had repaired it for us. So we're kind of slogging along again. Um, we're going to have some breakfast and reevaluate. I know there's more sails up in the sail locker. And uh, although the boys aren't going to be too happy about digging around up there and seeing what's up there, we're going to have to go up there and check it out. See if we can't find a little jib or something we can put on there. Uh, we could sure use the help right now. So anyway, uh, looks like we're going to have some granola. We still got fresh bananas. Um, happy day, huh? <laughs> we got a little blue hole in the cloud there and the sun shone through for a minute. So. Well, it's not lost. Apparently we got a pretty good motor on this thing. The fuel seems to be holding out, although we're afraid to check. So, uh, by my calculations, if this diesel's like most diesels, we should have enough to go there and, and further uh, all the way on the motor. So, let's hope that's true. Anyway, uh, more later. Say bye, Ethan. Bye bye, adieu for now. Parties are sweet, sorry. <laughs> Should have been a TV act.